A very busy roadway near the Atlanta Beltline could close prematurely to make way for this new streetcar expansion. Yeah, MARTA and the city of Atlanta conducting a survey to see if the streetcar project would require them to shut down a section of Irwin Street, of course, right near Crog Street Market. Atlanta News First reporter Adam Murphy live for us tonight. And Adam, it seems like everybody's got an opinion on these plans. Hey there, Rick. It's a mixed bag of opinions out here. We've been talking with people all day long. Let me kind of put things into perspective. So this is the Beltline at Irwin Street right here. It's still even active at this hour. And to our left down there is the Crog Street Market. Now, this is a very busy area, so you can only imagine if this were to shut down, this stretch right here of Irwin Street, it would have a significant impact. On a cold fall afternoon in Atlanta, there is a hot topic being discussed on the Beltline at Irwin Street, right next to the Crog Street Market. I think a change like that might be too drastic, but hopefully they still prioritize all the pedestrians here. Sam Jennis noticed the survey signs posted, asking for feedback on the Irwin Street closure. It turns out MARTA and the city of Atlanta are working on an east expansion of the streetcar, which would run parallel to the Beltline. If that happens, this section of Irwin Street at the Beltline could be closed permanently. I mean, I think it's good how it is now, honestly. And uh, if they added that, it would just be too much traffic and hard to get around the Beltline. I mean, I'm here every day and, and already all this construction and stuff here. I mean, it's, it's already kind of a drag. Some believe the closure would create more traffic congestion. Others think it would make the Beltline crossing at Irwin Street a safer place. So I'm used to a walking city, so I agree with all the walking and what they're trying to do here. And I think there's way too many cars in Atlanta, but they just you, you can't just throw the problem to another street. The survey will last for another two weeks. And while the future is uncertain, one thing is certain, and that is there will be no shortage of feedback. The public transportation would be good anyway. Because like there's like none. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like that'd be a good idea. I think any closure is a bad idea in Atlanta, right? Any closure of any kind. We gotta keep everything open so cars can get through. I guess people can wait. It, cars are more important, I think. All right, so the next time you're on the Beltline in this area, you can scan this QR code to take that survey. As you can see, you have until December 7th. Once we have an update on what the plans are out here and what's going to happen, we'll be sure to update the story. For now, live here on Irwin Street on the Beltline, Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First.